another verse that tries to keep me focused on the marathon because I'm definitely not perfect and I'm going to be truthfully honest I, I don't know if I could be I can't I can't turn it off I don't know how I, I ask for the spirit to come in me and, and take it away but it just doesn't work that way for everybody so I fall back on Luke 10, 25 to 28. On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he asked, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus responds, what is written in the law? He replied, how do you read it? The expert answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbor as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. Now, as far as this planet is concerned, nice to hear that there are students who are doing um, the opposite of what took place on the propaganda by stepping out of class to appreciate our Second Amendment, right? But as the liberal agenda steps in and manipulates that conversation and interviews some folks that, you know, who have in the past experienced a violent gun shooter, that they all kind of said things like the age should be written, you know, brought up to, you know, 21 and there should be stricter ways of getting a gun and some sort of registry and, and, and what they don't realize is that if we were all under a registry like there are in some states by the way which is horrible because now if they want to pull the tyranny they know where you are now technically as a carry concealed holder they know where I am they want to pull the tyranny they know I've got guns I gotta carry conceal so, in retrospect, when you get your carry concealed, you kind of registered yourself. Now, it doesn't mean they know how many guns I have, or how many guns anybody else, for that matter, has, that if you're carry concealed. Technically, the carry conceal license is an infringement on my Second Amendment. But I don't have anything to hide. And I will tell you, I'm not looking for the fight. I don't want to start the fight. But I got news for you. If the fight comes to my door, I will not be breathing before you get my guns. I can assure you of that. I've accomplished everything in my life. I've got nothing to lose. And even if I don't even think I'm worthy for Jesus' praise... I'm still going to give it 110% to the best of my ability and try to follow the way as best as I can. I have to believe when I read verses like this that there has to be a measure of who gets in and who does not get in and who gets what punishment and who gets really bad punishment. Okay? So I got to believe in some sort of favor I'm doing okay. I want to believe that. Because I don't want to believe that my effort is all for naught. Because I do believe Jesus is God. The Son of God. God the Father. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. And this country... 
was born with that premise. In God we trust. These are unalienable rights that we are entitled to, who are born with. It's a right, not a privilege. It's a right to be able to defend myself, defend my sheep, that's my family, my friends, my colleagues, my co-workers, my neighbors, and anyone else who happens to be around me when any sort of tyranny begins. Whether it's the drug guy trying to break into my house or the government trying to get their power over who I am as an individual. Because I try to follow the way my body, like I've said before, technically, it's not mine. It's a vessel for my Lord and Savior, the Holy Spirit. Whether I feel it, which I don't, like some who can speak in tongues, or I feel it just because I know what's right. I know what's wrong, and I feel bad when I do wrong. And then sometimes I do wrong and don't even realize it. And then I still feel bad and I ask for forgiveness. And I repent. I try my best. So when you hear Trump at the NRA meeting, man, both Donald Trump and Pence were spot on the money. And so I say to you in Deerfield, and I say to you in Florida, and I say to you in Rhode Island, Staten Island, Boston, Massachusetts, Connecticut, all of these states that have had their rights in some way infringed and are now living technically outlawish, because I think that's what it's going to come down to, because... We ain't going to tell you we have your guns. We have guns. We'll probably hide our guns. And then we'll get them in back in our possession. And we'll carry them guns illegally. So we'll all be outlaws. Trump said it best when being in Texas for the NRA meeting. And he brought back the story of how tyranny was coming upon the civilians of Texas. As they were asked for their cannons to be given up. And fellow citizens from around came to help defend, and they said these four words, Come and get it! Come and get it.